Houston Zulu, 2156 Zulu. Wind 050 at 5, visibility 3 quarters, light rain, mist. Ceiling 300 overcast. Temperature 9, 2.8, altimeter 2994. Lining and departing, runway 6 left, 6 right, 36. Dayton clearance, sir, 367, Charlie Pop with uh, Zulu looking for my uh, I have flight plan. First over, Charlie Pop, stand by. Columbus departure frequency is on 118.85, squawk 4267. Clear to Dayton, S-File, 3000, 1885, and 4267 on the squawk for 367, Charlie Pop. And I can't read very well, 4262 on the uh, beacon code. 4262 for 367, Charlie Pop. Sirius 367, Charlie Pop. Runway uh, 36 at Bravo, if you want it, uh, is available via Charlie Bravo. 36 at Bravo, Charlie Bravo for 367, Charlie Pop. Blue Street 5076 is rolling. Right up here. And three It's a currently reporting three quarters of a mile visibility, overcast at 300. It's kind of the route we're going to do. New Columbus first, a little bit of rain in the area, but tops are around 20,000. So anything to worry about there. Freezing levels are looking like it's about 10,000 throughout the whole area, and it's pretty much solid. Level. All right, so a couple things I do, especially when it's lower like this, is always, you know, we typically call out. Then this airplane is going to be 400 foot or 500 foot for the caps altitude, so that's 1500 indicated. But I also call what indicated is going to be when I go in the clouds, so I know where I should hit them. So as soon as I get to that point, I'm pretty much assuming I'm going to be hit down. It's going to hit, it should hit at 1200 feet, yeah, let's say. 12, 1300 yeah. feet, so pretty much immediately after we take off, but that way you're prepared for it. So if it's oh, 800 feet above the ground, yeah. you know, you have an idea where it should be and you're already prepared to go ahead down. Okay. Right, I'm ready if you are. Dayton Tower, Sirius 367, Charlie Pop is ready for takeoff, uh, Bravo 36. 37, Charlie Pop, your number uh, three in the sequence. Number three for 367, Charlie Pop. Delta 23, 37, Dayton Tower, runway six left, flat runway heading, clear for takeoff. And Bravo, turn right heading, 060, clear for takeoff. Departure 36 at Bravo, turn right heading, uh, 060 for 367, Charlie Pop. So it's Skywest 4696, tower runway 6 left, due to land, wind 040 at 3, or whatever. Good land, runway 6 left, Skywest 4696. Everything's green over here. Blue Street 9342, ready to taxi via Confession Zulu. 9342, day ground runway 6 right, taxi via Delta Echo. 6 right via Delta Echo, Blue Street 9342. Charlie Papa, flight 360, please, heading 360. 360 for 367, Charlie Papa. Runway 6 left, RVR, touchdown more than 6,000, midpoint more than 6,000, roll out 5,500. Just don't forget your out two call outs. We want to do 1,500, 200. You want the autopilots flying? 1,000. Street 9342, got a 42 release time. Time now is 32. Okay, copy. Uh, 42 release time now, 32 for Blue Street 9342. May go Lena Peak. Yeah, you good. Just land to the blue line. That's all you have. So you don't pull back power at all? Yeah, it should be close enough where it needs to be, so you just use the blue line. If you need to drop it down a little bit, you can, but... Right, so Charlie, pop a turn rank 060 now, thanks, and contact departure. Right to 060 and to departure for 367, Charlie, pop. Deep departure, Sirius 367, Charlie, pop with you, climbing 2600 for 3060 on the heading. 367, Charlie, pop, for this departure, radar contact, climbing, maintain 4000. Up to 4,000 to 367, Charlie Pop. Left. Alpha, I'm on 6 left. If you want when you're in the turn, you can always just tell them you're turning to 060. I'll have to wait till you get there. Remember, 
number 367 Charlie Pop, proceed direct to the Port Columbus Airport. Direct uh, Port Columbus for 367 Charlie Pop. All right, so we're level out at 4,000. Little Olympic Con, just to conserve gas. So what I'll usually do now, you can do this a couple different ways. You can either start bringing your throttle back to 2,500, or you can bring your mixture all the way up and do it that way. This way usually works pretty well, though. So there's a mark 2,500. Fuel flow still where it needs to be. And if you want to go ahead and bring your power back, since so we're not in a hurry, you can bring it back to 65% power or whatever. 232, 72, turn left heading 250. The turbo normalized system does a really good job of following fuel flow with throttle advancement. Uh, the T doesn't do as well. Okay. T follows well on the way down, but on the way back up, it doesn't. This one will. So. Yeah. Just keep an eye on when you're, uh, when you're going into bigger airports. Sometimes Vector is not going to be able to do that. 232 turn left heading 240. Yeah, I'm aware of that argument. And the reason for it is usually if it's straight in, and I'll, I'll only do this if there's multiple straight in, like all the fixes should be in a line, like if you go into Charlotte. There's gonna be like four fixes in a line. I'll load the farthest one out. I can always activate a leg, but if they just clear me to intercept course, all I do is menu, or all I do is uh, hit procedure, to the final. So and it's only one button push, where if I have to go back and do it, I gotta do lots of button pushes. I just wanted to make sure the waypoints matched my... Yep, that's always a good thing to do. Yeah, so at this point, I always like to check waypoints. I like to check to make sure my frequency loaded. All right, AC-3272, runway 6 so left, RVR, touchdown, 2,400, midpoint 6,000, actually midpoint now 4,500, rollout 5,000. Do you want to do publish this on this one, or do you want to wait till we get up to, to um, what I'm going to do? So the mist is climbed to 3,000 on ZZY VOR DME radial 28. Intersection. November uh, 367 Charlie Pop Bravo at Port Columbus Airport reporting uh, wind 1103, visibility 2 miles of light rain mist, feeling 1,600 overcast, temperature 82.7, altimeter 29 or 9 or 3, and again this will most likely be vectors for the ILS 10 right approach. Okay, we have Bravo and uh, I'll expect uh, vectors for the 10 right approach for 367 Charlie Pop. And so if we go mist here, I do not want to hand fly this mess. Uh, uh, I guess I could hand fly it on the flight director, but... Uh, I would 32, 72 to send a maintain 3,000. So it, it sounds really complex, but when you look at it, if you look at it in your, uh, your flight plan, it's actually not. Um, they just give you a different way to get to that fix. Uh, but this is our system is already going to be set up to actually fly that route. So we're just going straight ahead and hitting it. I was looking at the alternate map. I see straight ahead. Yep, so it's got you flying the 280 radial. Our GPS has us flying the 100 outbound, which is the same thing. Yeah, okay. So it's a lot of times you'll see that um, they have VORs on the field. They'll do that, so you can see here it's got the missed approach point after 1200. Um, they'll they'll give you the radial. But really, you can fly it. Sometimes it'll be an offset. So when you fly out, you'll actually see, you'll be like half scale. It'll give you a heading to intercept. But the, the system will already be set up for it. So. May I listen to the ATIS there? Guys. Mechanical voice. Always hard to point to then uh, maintain or get established in a climb. So and then flaps up. So if you're gonna fly if you're gonna fly the approach with the autopilot, all you'll have to do when you hit your Mr. Approach point or your DA in this case is throttle full forward, hit your button. That's gonna keep the autopilot engaged and pitch you pitch you up to seven and a half degrees. Then all you have to do so up here you're gonna see it says G A. Right. You just have to come down and hit nav yep. and IS, and it'll follow. It'll go to 1220, and then it'll you, go on. You throughout. do IS. I always do IS. 93342, turn right to 240, enable Trevo on course. 110, 240, heading third direction. Trevo on course, blue tree. Capture 342. Yep. AC 3272, turn left, heading 150. 
No, I, I, that's the way I would do it, except I'd never use I. Columbus Approach, Cirrus 367, Charlie Pop with you, 4000. Cirrus 367, Charlie Pop, uh, Columbus Approach, Roger, altimeter, 2993. 2993, 7 Charlie Pop. Actual field elevation there is 815. Takes uh, us down to 1,005. Uh, ceiling is 1,600 foot overcast, what the last report was. About 2,400 feet or so, we should. We heard 1,600 foot overcast, okay. But the visibility is terrible, so. Okay, that's what I was real low. Yeah, the visibility is really bad, even if it's 1,600 foot. Doesn't matter. It yeah. really doesn't matter. You're gonna have trouble seeing anything. So we've got the localizer. That's controlled field, so he's got the lights on. We don't have to worry about that. If it wasn't, we make sure lights up here. I assume he's just going to bring us in at 4,000 and let us accept. It. Now he's only. We're not cleared for the approach. We've only intercepted the localizer. It only has a track the localizer. Yep. So technically, you don't want to be in approach mode right now. Oh, you're just, correct. Yeah, just put it in nav mode. Why well, don't we want to be in approach mode? Because it'll follow the glide slope down. Exactly. We're not yep. cleared. Yep. Exactly. Yep. And I always use, when he says clear for the approach, that's when I put it in approach mode. I know like, that, and I just, yeah. Well, this is kind of different, because you bring in as, I mean. Yeah, this is different. Yep. There was really no transition from in route to approach. We yeah. were just on the course. I've never had that ever. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty good. Uh, Usual, yeah. yeah. It's unusual to be on the course from, you know, 50 miles out. Number 367, Charlie, Charlie Paul, I'm going to take you off the localizer so just for a few miles to get a little bit of faster traffic in, and uh, turn right, heading 160, and we'll put you right back on here in just a couple miles. Break to uh, 160 for 367, Charlie Pop. Yeah, approach 660, Alpha Lima, 8000, descending 6, uh, 170 heading. Uh, number 660, Alpha Lima, come as approach, altimeter 2, 9 or 9 or 3. 9 or 3, Charlie Pop. Oh man, I could, should have kept my speed up. I'm already at flap speed. Yeah, I mean, we're at 120. Castle 915, descending to maintain 4000. We could have told it, maybe we could have made it 150. Okay. It probably wouldn't have mattered in this case. Yeah. yeah number 3, Charlie Pop, descending to maintain 3000. Set for 367, Charlie Papa. Hi, yes, sir. Uh, November 367, Charlie Papa. Descend and maintain 3000. Leaving 4000 for 3000. 367, Charlie Papa. A good call on that. He called it wrong. Maybe I think the, the biggest thing at night that I really pay attention to is situational awareness. Um, anytime I'm shooting where I know it's going to be close to minimums, I'm really watching what's around me. Here there's not any terrain, but where I'm at North Carolina, there's always terrain. So do I have a safe direction to go if something goes bad? Um, typically, it's going to be whatever the mist is, but I want to know where the train's at. Um, and at night as well, I want to know, you know, runway orientation. Am I coming straight on the runway? Are there multiple runways? They may or may not be lit. So it could be disorientating depending on what you're looking at. A lot of times, you come to a big field like this, they're only going to have one runway lit. Number 367, Charlie Pop off your approach here here at Columbus. What's your next question? I'd like to apply the published mist and then come around and shoot another approach into Columbus and. Uh, uh, then go uh, on to uh, Lima for 7 Charlie Pop. And number 7 Charlie Pop, I right, sir, turn left heading about 110. Left to 110 for 367 Charlie Pop. Now number 660 Alpha Lima, descend to maintain 5,000. 5,000, sir, Lima. And number 367 Charlie Pop, on the miss for this approach, so it'll be a left hand turn, left hand turn heading about 360 and maintain 3,000 feet. Left turn to 360 and maintain 3000 for 367 Charlie Pop. Hey, Pop. Number 7 Charlie Pop, turn right hitting 08 to join the localizer. Ernest, intercept the localizer, runway 10 right. Right to 080 and intercept the localizer uh, for 10 right for 367 Charlie Pop. Can I hit nav now? Or yep. wait till yep. I'm closer. No, you can hit nav now. It'll just turn white up there. Challenger 660 Alpha Lima, contact the tower 132.7. 327, have a good night. Sir, we're not cleared. And number first. 7, Charlie Papa, if you would give me your best four speed to the airport, I got a, a couple just to follow you in still. Best four speed to the airport for 367, Charlie Papa. And number 367, Charlie Papa, you're about 8 miles from Shosh, maintain 3,000 until established on the localizer. Clear for the ILS runway 10 right approach. Maintain 3,000 till that was cleared for the ILS 10 right approach, and we're going to try to do 150 till two miles for 367 Charlie Pop. And 367 Charlie Pop, I appreciate that. I'm cleared for the approach. So we're in approach mode. Yep. Glide slope popped up there, it's armed, so it's in white. Rare minimums are up at 1010. We've already briefed the mist.
is, but we know for the best for us, it's going to be a left turn at 360 to 3,000. Yeah, go ahead and go full rich. I've never shot an approach this fast, for, for uh, real. Yeah. Uh, that'd be cool. And, and I'm going to keep this till two miles, so how am I going to... I 7 or 3, 6, 7, Charlie Papa, contest the tower, 132.7. Tower 1327 for 367, Charlie Papa. Castle 9. How am I going to identify two miles? I'll identify two miles because that'll be Debbie. It'll be, it'll show right up here it'll, to your missed approach point. It'll be the runway if we didn't have vertical guides. Columbus Tower, Cirrus 367, Charlie Pop with you on the ILS 10 right. Series 367, Charlie Pop with Columbus Tower, number two, final challenger, and uh, for three and a half mile final, runway 10 right, clear for the option. Number two for a one zero right, clear for the option for three six seven Charlie Pop. So Glide Slope is, is alive. Now I am not going to pull Charlie power. Papa and, and uh, he would reduce speed to a one two zero uh, knots. You're gaining fifty knots on the challenger heading. Down to one two zero. He just told me to go as fast as I could. So sorry about that. Three six seven Charlie Pop. No, you're fine. He called me and said he was actually surprised with how fast you were giving it to him, uh, giving it there. Uh, so yeah, you can slow to your final approach speed if you'd like. Uh, again, you just need 50 knots slower at least. Three six seven, Charlie Pop. I'll be down to 120 here momentarily. Thank you. You were too nice on that. That's when you come back and say, "All right, we'll slow down for the challenger." Yeah. I wanted to say something wise ass, but. Yeah. And Sierra seven, Charlie Pop. For my planning purposes, are you guys just planning on a low approach, touch and go, or what are you guys wanting to do? We'll come down to uh, 200 feet and then uh, go missed. Uh, and our climb out instructions are uh, 3,000 and left turn to 360 for 367 Charlie Pop. 367 Charlie Pop, a roger head, yeah. For now, just uh, just fly your present heading for now and maintain 3,000 on the go. Altitude. Just advise it on the go. Present heading and maintain uh, 3,000 and you'll advise me on the turn for 367 Charlie Pop. Not for everything. Well, that's going to be sweet when you play that on the video where you're gaining on the Challenger by 50 knots. <laughs> Can you please slow down for the Challenger? Well, I prefer to watch this on here. It's typically with the screen that I use, so the flight plan and then have yeah, the split I screen. I want to be able to see that, yep. We got a little bit of a uh, crosswind, so the runway should All just right. be just off the left side. Challenger 0 off of Lima State Parking. Plane. On localizer. On Challenger zero off Lima. Take a left good. turn at Charlie Five. Next left, same contact ground point nine. Have a good day. Charlie Five, Charlie Five point nine zero. Lima. Good day. You can always see on your plate too. They have all stars here, so you can see what the setup of the the lights is going to be. So I, I do full power and then press the button. That way I, I press the button, but I got to go very quickly to heading. We're on the runway. Yeah. Don't worry about anything initially. My thing you worry about initially is climbing up, getting yeah. away from the ground. And then after that, you can worry about everything. Because we're over the runway, we're in a safe environment, just start climbing, all the other stuff waits. Okay, 400 feet to go. So yeah, it said it was 1,600 foot overcast, and I'm just now starting to see the ground, nothing in front of us. 500. It's 500 above the ground. 300 to go. All right, still no runway. 200 to go. All right, there's the lights. Here we go. Down to minimums. Okay, and we're close enough for shits and Minimums. Giggles. Minimums. So full power. It's in go route mode. It goes right up there. The autopilot's engaged. So now we're stabilized. We're climbing up. So then we can go to heading mode. Heading you can go to whatever climb to mode you want. The airspeed. Well. Then we can clean our flaps up as well. All that comes first. First thing is always climb away from the airport. Then you can worry about climb straight out and runway heading, and then you can go from there. Unless you want to some weird mountain airport. But. And then you can just tell them you're uh, on the Miss 1700 for three. And Columbus Tower, Sears 367, Charlie Pops on the mess, 1700 for 3000, runway heading. Sears 367, Charlie Papa, thank you much. Turn left heading 360. Left to uh, 360 for 367, Charlie Pops.